The old windmill is not the only place with a watering hole in this area, but it's popular with the little Corellas. It's hard to say why they get always together here. Lots of screaming and flapping until 600 birds have a perch. They sit neatly lined up on the bars. Almost every seat is taken. With an odd creaking sound, the big windmill stops. It really needs some grease. Now it's getting exciting. What will happen when the wind picks up and the big wheel starts to turn? Do the little Corellas even think about it? The two of them don't care that the wind is coming up and the windmill is starting to turn with a scary groan. Now it's getting interesting. The wind freshens up and the wheel turns faster by the second. How many laps will they last? When will they run out of courage? Even the last one has given up. The little Corellas have little respect for the big noisy machinery. The spectators' boxes are frighteningly close to the gears, the turning shafts, and the spilling grease. Dangerous for the feet and for the white of their feathers. He's fiddling with the fuse wire today, expertly and meticulously. There were times in Australia when the windmills turned day and night without interruption. Today, the hot wind is not blowing so constantly. The windmill stops time after time. We have the impression that the adventurous Corellas are waiting for it. The wheel hasn't stopped yet, and the first one is already getting comfortable on it. Thirty centimeters of courageous cockatoo in a ferris wheel that measures seven meters in diameter. He's had enough, he leaves quite skillfully. More passengers are coming in, they get on while they can. Round and round we go on the ferris wheel, it's hard to believe.
One has given up, but two are still on it. But he too is leaving. No, he shows an interlude, a special performance of his skills. The bird has to run all the time, has to take hold of his crossbar so that he doesn't go round in circles upside down. The spectators are getting excited. What can we say? The bird sits in the noisy monstrosity of iron struts and sheet metal and lets itself turn in circles. Courtship and impersonation can perhaps be seen as a reason for some of the conspicuous behavior when playing on the ground and when they do gymnastics on the high wire. But here in the windmill, the Corella doesn't make any movements that could be deduced from courtship behavior. Here it is clear that he only wants to have fun just like we do at the fair when we ride the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Thrills and excitement, another acrobatic performance. The crazy bird could get out if he wanted to, but he doesn't want that. He wants to do a few more rounds. It's the end of the show, and soon the end of our eventful time with the little Corellas.